guys, we're here again, Jim with Individual Fitness, and we're, today we're here spotlighting our new trainer employee, Elise. So just as, as our normal fashion, we want you to get to know Elise a little bit better so you feel much more comfortable knowing that she, she, she's a human too, and, uh, and an expert in the fitness and nutrition and can help you. So, all right, with further, without further ado, here, question one. How long have you been in the fitness industry? Well, about my junior year at Keene State, um, I decided to start coaching softball. And um, kind of from there, it led me to do more of like the strength and conditioning with athletes, which kind of led me to really decide to do um, personal training because I loved the connection there. So um, from there, I kind of worked at the Keene State Gym training a bunch of students and professors there as well. Okay, so you did a lot of coaching. I did. And uh, and you found the love of motivating and, mm -hmm. and educating. Definitely. And, yeah, and now, weren't you also a, an athlete, a multi-sport maybe? Or yes. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, yeah. so um, in high school I played softball, soccer, and I also figure skated. Um, and then when I got to college, I decided that I wanted to switch out the figure skates for some hockey skates. There it is, there it is. You know, the yep. right sport. Yeah, and there so then go. I joined the women's club team at Keene State for the ice hockey. So. All right, and what position did you play there? Um, I was usually right wing, sometimes left wing, but for the most part, right wing. Okay, okay. So now, no word to lie on her, on her phone interview. I did ask her, so figure skating back in the day, uh, Tiny Harding, would you yeah. like to meet her? <laughs> uh, I think she's a very interesting person, so I think it, it would be cool to meet her. Okay, alright. Did you watch that movie? Of course. Yeah, I Amazing. actually did too. It was really good. It was. But anyway, enough about her. Let's focus <laughs> yeah. on you here. Okay, so, uh, what are your favorite hobbies? Um, well, usually in my free time I try to fill it up with a bunch of different sports. So I do like indoor soccer, um, I do a women's softball league, um, and I'm also hoping to try to find a hockey league to join at some point here. Oh, hey, I think there actually is, uh, is one down at, at, at Tritown or the Ice Den, somewhere hooks it. So. Oh yeah, there's, there's tons um, of them around, I think, yeah. so. Alright, hopefully. Fantastic. Yeah. Alright, well, hey. Uh, hello. Anyway, <laughs> uh, what's, now let's talk a little bit about your favorite food. You're human. Yes. What would, like, let, let her rip. So. My favorite food, even though I don't eat them out, bagels are like my favorite thing. They are so many different kinds, I just love them. It's like my okay. favorite breakfast food is bagels, so. Bagels, okay. Yeah. All right. That's Any the one. weird topping? Well, oh, okay. So I like okay, cream cheese and then bacon on top Ooh. of the cream cheese. I, I was so wow. judgmental of it at first, but it's life changing. How so. can you be judgmental of bacon? <laughs> That's true. I mean, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> anyway, uh, all right, favorite movie? Grease. That's my favorite movie okay. of all time, Grease. So now, all right. Okay. <laughs> so now, what do you say to those that like, uh, what was it, High School Musical? Not Versus, the same. No. Not the same. Total rip off. Yeah, I agree. All right. Okay. Uh, I have a story for you later about Grease. Okay. Lip syncing. <laughs> oh, geez. Anyway, anyway. So when you're not doing the sports and, and you're not helping people achieve their fitness goals, what do you do in your downtime to relax? So I'm someone who likes to be busy, and I try to not give myself a lot of relaxed time. Um, but I say when I have like free time, I usually fill it up with going to the gym, or I kind of go and just do anything outside, like shoot the soccer ball around, that sort of thing. Just okay. kind of get out there. All right. So you, you just I always love to stay active. I do. Well, there you <laughs> Definitely. go. There you go. Now, do you have any pets? My parents have pets that they just got a puppy, a black lab, it's the cutest little thing. And what's his name? Uh, her name is Tuka. Oh, Tuka! Ooh, oh, <laughs> so Tuka. We're a Tuka. big Boston, oh. Boston sports family. So Tuka, and then we have a cat also, which I unfortunately couldn't bring with me because she's an outdoor kitten, and I live in an apartment. So, but her name's er, Theo. So Theo got a cat and a dog at home. There it is, Boston. <laughs> any, any, anyway. Uh, which I was going to just talk to you about. Anyway, oh, speaking of this, her father. Yes. Where is he from? He's, his family is from, from Minnesota. Yes, good state, so. right there. <laughs> and they got tickets to the, uh, I should say we got tickets to the New England <laughs> Patriots game. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Any, anyway, um, so you just mentioned about you like to stay active, and one of the ways, too, is, is through 
you actually go to the gym yourself. Mm -hmm. um, so when you're there and you're, you're getting your sweat, getting your groove on, yeah. what 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 would you be listening to? What are the headphones there? So I like a lot of really like fast paced things, things to kind of pump me up. I do listen to some Eminem, that sort of oh. thing. Um, just to yes, get you rock, motivated. Uh, rap God, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh my God, he's so good. I he think is. Kate enjoys uh, yes. Eminem too. Like, he's just <laughs> Who does awesome. Who I mean, my it? God. <laughs> and his story, oh, oh my God. Eight Mile, great movie. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, hey, well, you never know. Stay tuned here. <laughs> um, so, what motivates you? So, I'm someone who likes to set a lot of goals for myself. So, mm -hmm. I try to set some like smaller, definitely achievable goals, and then I set some really high goals that I hope I can reach one day, and that yeah. sort of thing, and those kind of keep me going. All right, give us an example of one of each. One of each. If you want. If yeah. you want, right on the spot. Right, right yeah. on the spot. So, uh, Short time goal would be like targets I'd like to hit at the gym, that okay. sort of thing. Um, a long term goal would be like career wise, like getting a house, that sort of thing. Oh, like, fantastic. More lifestyle type of things. Great. Yeah. Well, you're well on your way. Yeah. All right, now. Ba -ba -ba -ba. We may have had an answer already. We don't know. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have Elise. Yes. Dead or alive, who, <laughs> who would you like to meet? Okay, so I've thought about this one a lot. She has. And I really can't narrow it down to one person, but okay. I narrowed it down to three. At least it's not five. Yeah, we go. <laughs> three. So Adam Rapon, the male figure skater, would uh -huh. love to meet him. He's okay. like number one. And then Dustin Pedroia for the Red Sox. Mm -hmm. He's been my idol for like ever. Okay. Yes. And then newly Andrew Benatendi. Those are like, who's also plays for the Red Sox. But okay. those, those are my top three. All right, now I'm going to dig a little further. Yep. So why, why do you want to meet each of them? Each of them. So Adam Rapon, he's a male figure skater, and I've always I figure skated, so I tend to do that. And he's um, just a really great, outspoken person, very okay. like energetic all the time. Yep. Um, got a good attitude about all him. All right, and Dustin. Dustin Pedroia, I he was kind of like inspired me when I was playing softball. He played second base, and I played oh, second base. He go. was always like shorter than everyone, and oh. I was always shorter than everyone. So there I just go. related to him. Yeah, and now recently this new one. Andrew Benatendi. Okay. Well, Who, what? he's the he plays for the Red Sox now. He's oh, pretty. Okay. He's one of the younger guys who's okay. been killing it. So. Oh wow! Well, there it is. Yeah. So now you get to find out a little bit more about <laughs> Elise. Great employee. Um, so now we are we have this great team here at IF, and we are all ready and willing to help you achieve those fitness goals you're looking. So don't delay. All right. Give us a call today or check us out. Email us. Whatever you need to do, just do it.